Hey kids, Singleton here, and this is part two of the Artist Alley Independent Artist uh, reviews and interviews. Uh, more interviews, the ones I for the reviews was that was part one. Already done, already in the can. Uh, this, I'd still have to apologize for the camera quality. I took an old camera, it's good for pictures, but it was really made before the YouTube era. So the sound catches a lot of background noise. If you're listening to this in headphones, uh, you really want to be careful because the background noise and such is really loud. So be very careful about that. Um, also, please do not punish the people in, in this video for my bad camera work. Pay attention. Let, let's see if there's something out there that they might have. At least, trust me, you are not loving Marvel Comics. Most people aren't. How about let's try some of these new people. Give them a shot. It might be worth it. I know I read three books that were pretty decent. One of them, two of them were, you know, two of them had artwork that I liked better than Marvel Comics. I know that's not saying a lot, but, you know, give them a shot. Also, if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and all that and the notification bell. But uh, mainly because I want to know, should I be going to comic book conventions and doing this more and yes I will be more prepared and carry along better equipment if I do it I've learned my lesson and uh, so yeah let me know if you like this kind of thing in the comments below and uh, well you know enjoy so tell tell me about your art and how you came about wanting to create it in this manner I, I, I used to do a wall of prints 11 by 17 and um, I tried to be a Walmart type of thing, like have a character for everybody. And I was finding myself very bored and not having fun anymore. And, um, and it showed when I tried to have passion for my work and explain it to people. And so, so I decided to do what I wanted to do, the characters I like. I grew up with. Obviously, you're a DC fan. I am. Too. I grew up with DC. I have no nothing wrong with Marvel, but it's just it's what I grew up with, and um, I I just I love motion in my work. I'm a storyboard artist, and and it just has to move for me. And so when something stagnant or kind of, I have a really hard time drawing it because I just want to yell at the character to do something. You know, and, and so this is, it, it takes a while. It, I find it even more of a challenge because I have less space to deal with. Oh, okay. And, and I use this all watercolor. And, um, it's, it, it's all watercolors? Yes, sir. And each one is, you know, there are, there, each one takes a while. Oh, okay, cool. I think I put out maybe six, seven, maybe eight new ones a year. All right, wow. Well, I do lots of commissions, too. Well, thank you very much for talking about your art and such. And where can we find your art? And uh, you can find. Uh, I have a, I have an online store at AndrewDayIllustration.com. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So tell us about Liberty Deception. On a distant planet far from Earth, a military state is protecting us from cannibal gangs beyond its city's walls. Our hero is TJ, the guy being executed on the very first pages of the book. It only gets better from there. He's a war hero of great renown, except that he's not. He's actually just a television actor on a show that everyone believes is real. When he's fired from the show, no one can know that it's fake, not even his executioners. Now he's trying to escape from the oppressive regime of his government. Uh, he's working with actual criminals, cannibals, murderers, scary people who are who afraid of him, even though he should be afraid of them, because of his fictional reputation. All He's right. never punched anyone before, never shot a gun before in his life, and now he has to live up to this amazing reputation that he doesn't have. Okay, and you are the... Uh, creator, writer, producer, publisher, salesman extraordinaire, Travis Vengrau, the guy in the middle with the broken nose, actual battle damage. I work with artists of all seven continents of the world. Oh, okay. That is cool. So you guys, you, you uh, do it through, like, what, email or...? Email and Dropbox, and we are self-published. We're not, uh, 
We're not a soulless corporation yet. Not a soul, but you're looking to do that. One yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> One day you achieve, you might achieve soulless corporation status. Yeah. Alrighty, so what is the information we can get hold of you and we can get these books from? Sure, libertyendures.com. We got that from the political site. It's now ours. Okay. Um, libertyendures.com or the libertycomic.com. Alrighty, and is that this what that we're looking at right here? This is actually an iconography guidebook. So when you see the graffiti and tattoos, I've actually okay. spent 11 years developing the backstory for the world. Even the written language that you'll see on our pages does mean something. We're as nerdy as you'd like to be. You're hard science fiction. There is nothing like a good geek. Alrighty. Well, one more time, name and contact information. Travis Vengroff, uh, libertyendures.com or dossierpublishing at gmail.com. Alrighty, thank you. Thank you. So this is Sinclair Captor, Captor, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I hope I didn't butcher it too much. And uh, the image behind her drew me over to her booth. We had a very lovely conversation and come to find out that she's going to be doing maybe a graphic novel with the Huntress character because a lot of people showed interest. I hope so. I bought this print from her because I really like the character. I, For some reason, just you know, like I said, Drew, she says a lot of people uh, says it reminds them of Mulan, obviously. You could see that, but uh, overall, yep, liked her as a person, like her art. She's got her own website with a lot of different pictures. Check it out. So, we are Cosmic Times Presents. Tell us about your comic books, comic book line. All right, we're Cosmic Times, like you said. We're a publisher in West Palm Beach, Florida. We've been at this since 2008, 2009. We're publishing our own comics. Started off as a self-publishing company. Now we publish all kinds of titles with um, artists and authors all over the country. A lot of guys here in Florida. We work with a lot of local guys as well. Uh, we're in the Diamond Catalog. We got a book uh, that was just listed called Chaser Platoon. It'll be out uh, in stores in two weeks. In two months. It's a collected edition of a 1991 miniseries that was originally published by Malibu. We called it for the first time. Also, uh, in, a, in the, not this month, but the following month's catalog, we're going to have a book called Decisions, Faces of the Stranger, written by me. That's going to be out for pre-order comic store soon. And then after that, we're announcing our first ongoing series. It's called Sugar Boogers. It's an all-ages book uh, written and illustrated by Michael Durant. Sugar Boogers. Sugar Boogers with a Z. Oh, yeah. well, okay, with a Z. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, okay. Yeah, it's an all-ages book. It's about gingerbread ninjas. Oh, gingerbread ninjas. They, the gingy ninjas. I was thinking there need to be more gingerbread ninjas, and yes. you're going to fulfill that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All righty, cool. Well, that's awesome. Thank you very much for talking. Where can we go to get your books? You said Diamond, so if they go to any comic book shop, but other places. Any comic shop or, you know, I always recommend just go to CosmicTimes.net. I always keep it up to date with all the information what we have coming out and what you can get. All right. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Right. Everything you see here is done with string. It's from Stressed Out Studios, Jessica and Braxton Greer in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So we got Jessica Bradley of Inked Gear, so tell us about your comic, what's it called, what's it about? Um, the name of the comic is Knox of the Dragons, it's about a, mis a group of misfits that are brought together to revive an ancient order of warriors to restore order to a crumbling world. Oh, cool, can we see some of the interior? Yeah. Awesome. That's, now you're the artist and the writer, right? I am. So you've done, you told me you've done everything but print it. Yeah. Excellent. So where can we find this if we want to give a purchase to? I have an online store and I will be linking it to my uh, Tumblr. Uh huh. Uh, all of the updates on the comic progress are made to Tumblr. Uh, that's where you can find all the updates. Okay, so one more time, what's your name and your information we could contact and maybe buy the comic from? My name Jessica Bradley. Uh, I go by Ink Beers mm -hmm. on Tumblr. Uh, I have Yahoo Ink Beers at Yahoo.com. And yeah, that's where you can contact me and find out all the information. Alrighty, thank you very much. Thank you. Al Abasia do, does these old style uh, art pieces. These are all prints of his. And my favorite are the ones that take after the Saturday Evening Post. And Norman Ro Norman Rockwell, yeah, Norman Rockwell's paintings on that. As a matter of fact, I picked up one of his prints, and it is already framed and ready to go on the wall. Alrighty, we're here with Techos to talk about Seven Worlds comic book he created. Yes, and the idea behind the comic book is that the world is under global warming, and so after a group of five broke college kids and a robotic talking chimp to save the world with the help of a space crystal. 
Okay. Kenya open, show a little interior art for the ladies and gentlemen. Okay, cool deal. All written and created by me. And you are the writer and artist? Yes, writer and artist. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, okay, if they're not at the Megacon right now, where can people find you? They can find me at the same name, T-E-K-O-Z-1, on uh, Instagram. That's why, I, that's why I'm most, uh, that's why I do all my big stuff, where I'm, where I am always publishing and marketing and stuff like that. All right, well, thank you very much. No problem. We are here with Thomas Howe, Creative Armored League, to tell us about your book. Hey there, how you doing? Yes, this is Armored League. It's a series, a seven comic series we just created. And um, it's about seven individuals from around the world that are brought together by the Special Task Force of Armored Angels. Each one was told that there was a special piece of armor that was stolen from them by the Legion of Death, their adversaries. And once they find their special piece of armor, they will be brought together and they'll give them their superpowers. So each one of these individual characters, or seven characters, go on a special task, and they have to go on that quest. It's kind of like Armor League, I mean, I'm sorry, the Avengers and Lord of the Rings kind of come together. So there's a quest, and when they find that piece of armor, it gives them their superpowers, and then they form the Armor League. So instead of the uh, Fellowship of the Nine, it's the Fellowship of the uh, quote-unquote Avengers that's types. That's right. Okay, there we go. All righty. So you can check us out at uh, ArmorLeague.com. Check you out at ArmoredLead.com, and that's where they can pick up the books if they want and such. All righty. Thank you very much. Thank you. So tell us about Secret Garden of Zombies. All right. The Secret Garden of Zombies is the Secret Garden rewritten into the zombie apocalypse. Very similar to Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. It's the Secret Garden of Zombies. So it is cholera that says very specifically it is the apocalypse. All right, so this is your best seller, you say? That's right, this is my best seller. However, seller-er. can you get these? Um, I also have several other books. This is Curiouser and Curiouser. It's my Alice in Wonderland series. It has full color illustration on every page by the artist Casey Moyer. Okay. And Casey Moyer is the gentleman not looking oh, at us over here? Right? No? No, oh, he's no. a different Rob guy. Is the artist he's the artist of yep, Secret Garden of Zombies. Yep. Okay, now, if anybody, you, now you tend to take... Uh, the classic stories and you put a little twist on it. That's right. Because here's Eat Me, Drink Me, which is also an Alice in Wonderland That's reference. Right. So this is book one and book, and book two. two. So where can we find you if we want to purchase uh, the Alice in Wonderland or the Secret Book Gardens? And, and the easiest place to find me is Amazon. The books are hardcover on Amazon and also they're on Kindle as well. Um, so right. in Kindle color, you can get uh, the Curious and Curious series. Okay, and one time, all the information, what name and all that? Right, yep, you can search for Aaron Pine, C-Y-N-E, or E.A.C.Y.N.E, because my, uh, my name. So if you search that, it's Amazon, all my books will come up for you. All righty, well, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So there you go, a whole bunch of interviews off of Artist Alley, all the independent comics and writers and artists and such. I had a good time interviewing and talked to them. Uh, it really is a great way to connect to people trying to live a, a dream of sorts. And I hope to hear from them uh, again if they've got projects or something, if they don't mind me reviewing things. What did you think? Was there anything that you were interested in or anything you were like, well, I think that's a little bit too much for me? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, do you want me to do videos like this more? So I know, should I be hitting more conventions? Also, let me know about that in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, share, please share. And uh, subscribe if you haven't done that. And hit that bell notice to make sure you're not missing anything. And most important, thank you very, very much for watching.